In this world, change is the name of the game. Everything's changing constantly. What about technology? Does it change? And how? Well, think of an old hammer. Maybe one that you got from your grandparent. It's just a hunk of metal. It doesn't really change over time, not in any noticeable way. Now think of your computer or your phone, a far more sophisticated piece of technology. It gets updated constantly, so it is changing. A car, you change the tires, change the oil. You're actually changing out physical pieces of that type of technology. But what about techniques? Well, you have to learn how to do something and you have to teach others how to do something. When it comes to making actual tools and physical items, you have to learn and teach how to make those. Whenever you're transferring this information from one person to another, from one generation to the next, it's going to change inevitably in some small way. But a hammer doesn't change into a screwdriver. Things change little by little. Instead of thinking of it as change, think of small modifications happening to technology. We're going to look at three main ways that technology is modified. In one way, it's improved, purposefully. You might have a tool or a technique that accomplishes a task, but you want it to be more efficient. Another way that technology becomes modified is when you repurpose it. Some tool might be good for a certain task, but it's also good for something else. And the last way that technology changes is just through the natural effects of evolution. Whether it's the way you source your materials to make the tool, or just by teaching it from one generation to the next, it's going to pick up new traits and it'll slowly evolve, for better or worse. Now real quick, before we go into each of those different types of modifications, why is it important to know how tech changes over time? Well. Sometimes it changes for the worst. Things might be changed to serve a specific need, and then after a while, you realize that that need isn't really worth it. Perhaps you find that the way the technology changed was unsustainable, and you need to find some way to go back. Another time you want to know how technology changes is when you want to know how to stop it from changing. Some things you want to stay the same, Think of that hammer example. You want your hammer to stay the same. In fact, most of the time when a hammer changes, it's because it's being damaged. So if you learn what material to make a hammer out of so that way it doesn't change, you'd have a better hammer. And another reason to know how and why technology changes is sometimes you don't have a choice. If your technology is biological, such as if you have an orchard or livestock, it's going to be changing. It's a living thing. Of course it's going to change. So if you know how it changes, you might be able to keep your livestock alive. There's a lot to discuss about technology changing because modifying technology is going to be a big part of being a technologist. Soon we're gonna discuss how two technologies can be compared because one might have changed more than the other. One was modified in a certain way while another was modified in another way. And we're gonna to wanna to be able to compare those differences. Or you might take a single technology and change it in two different ways, and you might want to compare which way was the better change. So let's delve a little bit deeper into how technology changes.